This was the scene in Karachi at the meeting of the Constituent Assembly. Liaquat Ali Khan moved a resolution concerning the Pakistan national flag and handed one round. Jagindranath Mandal, leader of the Untouchables, was present, and the only woman member of the assembly was Begum Shawaz. Later, accompanied by Lady Mountbatten, the Viceroy came to launch the Dominion of Pakistan. It was on his last day as Viceroy, the day before he became Governor General of the neighbouring Dominion of India. now read the King's message. Sitting beside Lady Mountbatten was Mr. Jinnah's sister, Miss Fatima Jinnah. Next, the inauguration of Mr. Jinnah as Governor General. He takes the oath of allegiance to King George VI as head of Pakistan. That's the Governor General's personal flag. And afterwards, the flag of the new dominion itself was broken. The scene in Delhi was typical of hundreds of towns throughout the vast territory that was about to become the Dominion of India. Cows being held sacred by the Hindus are never driven off the pavements, and all the familiar activities to be witnessed in this teeming city were being carried on as usual. But there was an undercurrent of pent-up excitement, for everyone knew that India, Hindustan India, was now to be free and independent. Crowds gathered throughout the day outside the Constituent Assembly building, for that night the appointment of the Governor-General was to be confirmed. At midnight, the actual transfer of power took place. The Assembly was addressed by the President, Dr. Ragindra Prasad, and the Prime Minister, Pandit Nehru. Next day, huge crowds again assembled, this time outside Government House. They wanted to see the important leaders arrive for today's big ceremony. Sadar Patel, Minister of Law. Sadar Baldev Singh, Minister of Defence. And from the roof, Pandit Nehru surveys the vast throng, which was so great that it held up the arrival of the principal personality. Indeed, the Bengal Lancers, escorting Lord and Lady Mountbatten, had considerable difficulty in making a lane through the hundreds of thousands of people gathered there. The occasion was the swearing-in of Lord Mountbatten as Governor-General of the Dominion of India. The fact that the ex-Viceroy was to hold the office is itself a great tribute to his work for the Indian people. As further evidence of the popularity of the Governor-General and his wife, there are these scenes of their attendance in the afternoon at a sort of children's fete, where sweets were distributed and a number of entertainments presented. The final scene during this great moment in India's history was the ceremony of the flag in the evening. Various units of the Indian forces were to have been inspected by Lord Mountbatten, but as it turned out, he was quite unable to leave his carriage, so great was the crowd. But the national flag, the saffron, white and green tricolour, was publicly unfurled, and for the rest it was crowds, 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 all rejoicing over the birth of the Dominion of India. <laughs> 